Hi, I'm Holly Hucklesby and I'm currently teaching both the Photoshop and Illustrator courses with Nicole's classes. Um, I wanted to quickly show you how to create watercolour brushes in Photoshop. Now, um, I've got Photoshop open right now and I just want to show you how to load brushes from the internet. So if you go on to uh, one of, in my opinion, one of the best resources um, for brushes is called brusheasy.com. The link um, is on the blog. Um, and you download the um, brushes and you will find that they are .abr file formats and they are basically brushes. So I'm going to show you just how to load um, a brush from the internet. So firstly, just go over to your toolbar. I'm just going to bring those over to the left hand side and select uh, the brush tool or the shortcut for that is uh, B. And then uh, hover up on the top. You can see here um, in your panel at the top, um, your brush presets um, appear. And I'm just going to literally select the down arrow of uh, the brush that's already picked and then go to the cog, then go to load brushes. Then what you need to do is obviously navigate to your downloaded brush. Um, you can see here, I've got it here under watercolor and the um, name of it is McBad watercolor.abr. I am gonna be supplying that for you so you can practice with that. You can see here that a date .abr is a brush, uh, a Photoshop brush and I'm just literally just going to open that. Now you can see here with my um, brushes, if I, when you load a new brush, it will appear at the bottom of your brushes. So you can see here the um, brushes that I've selected for you, there's 38 of them, which is pretty fabulous. So I'm just gonna, so you can see here, they're all at the bottom here, and I'm just gonna select one. Um, and just hover over to the right hand side, um, obviously onto my um, document here. And you can see that that is, uh, the black outline is the preview of how big the brush is going to appear. Now, if you just press return, and the first thing that I'm going to do without pressing anything, is just go to my layers palette on the right hand side, or if your layers isn't appearing, just go to window and then layers. And I'm just going to go to the upturn page symbol at the bottom of my layers palette and press once. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that my brushes, my watercolor brushes are on separate layers, individually all on separate layers. And I'll show you why in a second. So you can see I'm still hovering with the brush palette selected or the brush um, selected. And with my closed bracket on my keyboard, the open bracket, closed bracket, are right next to the P, to the right hand side of the P, letter P. Um, I'm just gonna select and hit the close bracket a few times. With a close bracket, that makes your brush size bigger. You can also change the brush size just at the um, down arrow here. The size you can change and click and drag the um, slider here. But what I like to do is uh, press return again and use the um, open and close brackets because you can actually really see the size at play on screen. Now, before I press anything, I'm just gonna double check that the color is correct. I've just got, you can see down here, um, a sort of berry color, and I'm completely happy with that. So I'm just gonna click once, and you can see that my um, brush has appeared in that color, which I'm really happy with. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just go um, up, and I'm gonna select another brush um, preset. And I'm again going to press return and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, which is with the um, open bracket. And I'm going to just do a new layer so they're all on separate layers. And I'm just going to double click on the foreground color in my toolbar and change the color. So I'm just going to go with such, uh, slightly subdued colors. And I'm going to click once again. Now, the beauty of having these two brushes on two layers is I can move them so I can have one layer and one brush overlapping. So all I'm doing there is clicking on the layer palette once, moving um, the brush, and clicking on the other layer and moving. You can also hit Command T for the transform um, palettes come up, and hold down Shift 
to constrain the proportions and scale up your brush. So again, I'm gonna select a new layer, so I get a new brush. Um, I'm then gonna go back to the brush um, tool and then the drop down, and I'm just gonna select another brush, press return. I'm going, I'm clicking, you can maybe hear me clicking the close bracket to um, make the brush bigger. Then going to um, make sure that I um, select oh, a, a different color. So I might go for a sort of orangey, oh, maybe a green actually. Press OK and then click once and the watercolor appears. So as I mentioned before, there's 38 different watercolor um, brushes, which is really fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna sort of layer that on. So you can see what I'm doing here, again, new layer, and make sure that you have a layer for each brush. And that basically means that you really have ultimate control over every single brush um, stroke that you add. So I'm just gonna get maybe a nice bright yellow, make this a little bigger and then press once. And you can see that very quickly and effortlessly you're building up your own design and um, and it does look really lovely. Um, I'm just gonna press another layer and do one final brush. So again, brush tool, drop down to select um, a new brush, press return, close bracket, to make it as large as I want. I'm just gonna go up and change the color to maybe something a little brighter, make it a little bigger and press it again. And if I don't like the rotation, I can always hit Command T. I can obviously scale up and down, but I can also rotate. And all I'm doing is hovering over the corner of the bounding box to rotate round um, and then press return. So that in essence is loading brushes and um, picking different colors and applying them to your design. Thanks.